Hi guys and welcome to the RGL Forza Motorsport Championships and we're here for the V8 Supercar Series we're round 5 race 8 from the Infineon Raceway and we're looking at the long course layout it's 4.06 kilometers tight and windy at the start you've got a couple of braking hard braking areas at the top end of the course and right before the start finish line now we've got a 23 degree day mid afternoon now we'll just have a look at how the qualifying went and a very different look to our grid lineup here with Alsimo sitting back in fifth position could not quite get to the speed that he got in practice down in the 136s and Relentless gets a pole and Blogsy also qualifying very well for Start Your Bastard Racing in second there and newcomer Eli Choco Jones from Ashes Racing also up there in the top three with Pistol Fit actually outdoing his uh, teammate and just moving on to the back end of the grid we've got our regulars there in Ollie 9394 and Dead X for HD Motorsport rounding out the field so Dead X just getting a nice clean lap although rather slow we'll see how we get underway now lights are starting up there's one two three and they're out and racing relentless is off to a pretty good start there Bogsy gets a bit bogged down and it looks like Eli's managed to jump ahead of him here Zulu out very wide and he's dropped back into I think well look he's going to be almost in last position as they head up the hill relentless a little bit wide on the right hander there uh, giving Eli a little bit of room to possibly make a move uh, but he's covered him okay there so a little bit untidy over the ripple strips by a couple of front runners there and just heading down the hill now so Relentless has lost the spot to Eli, Eli's moved up into first place and just going a little bit wide there Dead X but managing to not totally lose the uh, control of the vehicle there and the Movie Madness team side by side as they head into the big sweeping left hander here and it's uh, Logsy just on the back there of Relentless followed closely by Elsimo and then Pistol Fit so Elsimo's jumped up a spot and got in front of his teammate and this is uh, one of the hard braking areas at the top end of the course furthest point away from the start finish line and then there's some nice big sweeping turns all the way along the back end before they come into the hairpin there and Eli's got a little bit of a break here but relentless start and charge back and Alcimo's all over the back of Blogsy as well so we've just got a little bit of uh, Oh, and Alcimo might be on the move here. He's got an inside run and he's got a little bit of momentum. He's side by side. He should get him under brakes. And he's done that rather neatly. Blogsy looking for the switch back here. Oh, contact. And he's totally lost it. He's spun off the track. And that'll put him right back at the back of the field there. He's had to wait for everyone to pass by. And even Dedex has managed to get ahead of him. So he'll be pretty annoyed with himself there. So just from third place... Uh, back into last so just uh, I think Elsimo just shutting the door there on him and, I, and perhaps Bogsy wasn't expecting that um, but understanding is the communication in his vehicle is somewhat uh, impaired at the moment so there wasn't the ability to communicate with each other on that uh, getting, getting on with the race so we've just got a replay here uh, just got Ollie, oh, Ollie 9394 just clipping the wall on that uh, final little bend uh, just before the straight. It can catch you out if you're too far to the inside. You can clip that wall, and he hasn't and sent him into the other one. So that's uh, obviously put a bit of damage to his vehicle. And now look at this relentless. He's just got his rhythm back and chasing Eli, who has just got the fastest lap of the race so far, standing time of 141. So those will drop by a few seconds. That's still pretty quick, though. Heading into the hairpin now, and Relentless has decided to pit, so a bit of an early move there. Uh, I think Relentless hopefully trying to look for some clean track, and Rob360 in as well. And I do believe Zulu might have been the uh, third one in the pit lane, so we've got quite a few off in the very first uh, stages of the pit window opening. And this has given Eli a bit of a buffer here, back to cur currently second, which is Elsimo. And now the pressure is on the uh, lead, the championship leader to see whether he can catch up to Ashes Racing 
And just heading over the hill there. A little bit of a moment there for El Samo. We'll just have a look at the 9394 Studio Leaderboard. And we've got, as we said, Eli Chuckerman in first place up three positions. And Eskimo moved into third after a few people hit the pit stops and um, actually managing to get ahead of Pistol Fit. So obviously made a pass stick somewhere in there. Blogsy in fifth, uh, down three with DeadX as well up four thanks to uh, Relentless Rob360 and Zulu pitting and I would say that Ollie 9394 would have pitted as well after getting a bit of damage from his uh, little disagreement with the wall there on pit straight and so back on board with the reigning champion who is under fire from Pistol Fit Pistol's trying to look for a way past here and uh, you know, from all reports, uh, Eskimo wasn't very happy, or still isn't happy, with his vehicle for this uh, this whole round. Um, obviously, having some difficulty with the tuning, not not having enough time to really nail one out, and Eskimo has just managed it. So there, look at that, 136.240. So that is, you know, a second faster than the best qualifying lap. So he's really pushing now. And Eskimo's pulled off into the pit lane. This is a bit out of sync with his normal way of doing things to sort of pit late in the race so obviously uh, feels that the pressure from pistol fits distracting from getting some clean racing try and get some free space on the track and even with that fast lap though Elsimo doesn't look to be catching uh, Eli that quickly and uh, looks as though Eli might be holding his own in this one So just about to head down into the uh, left hand sweeper and you can see there nice uh, looking RGL logos there on the Ashes Racing vehicle. And just got a replay here, just going back a lap, oh so DeadX just a little bit too deep under brakes there and came across the front of Blogsy so uh, no, no harm done to Blogsy in the end but uh, obviously DeadX loses a spot and it looks like Ollie managed to get in ahead of him as well so and now Elsimo is starting to gain uh, gaps narrowed down quite significantly through here and I do believe this is a bit where Elsimo is faster um, having some issues with a bit of grip up in the uh, first couple of chicanes of the track and Eli is off into the pit lane so here we go it's crunch time now two laps remaining as uh, Elsimo goes across the finish line in a few seconds so he's going to have to get around get in the pit lane and get out again ahead of uh, Eli if he wants to win this one and we're just following now with I believe this is Blogsy who's slowly catching up to the back of Pistol Fit not by any huge margin but uh, he has managed to regain a fair bit of time after his little spin out at the uh, beginning of the race And just around that really fast first turn. It's a great camera angle there of the cars flying past. And Pistol Fit and Vlogs is still remain down track. So now we've got Zulu right on the back of Eskimo. So Eskimo is still having trouble with his vehicle. And Rob360 has managed to jump in through the pit window. And Zulu's managed to catch right up onto the back of Eskimo San Joe. So heading into the uh, final, almost getting to the final lap here. Uh, the field's fairly well spread at the moment until a few of the guys get in the pit lane. And Eskimo very wide there. He's going to lose a lot of room. And Zulu just looking for a spot on the inside. Thinking the better of it. And just holding back. Oh, going for a bit of a dive there. That's a bit risky. Could have uh, accidentally spun Eskimo around there. So he's backed off. Wise move. But uh, all under pressure here. So... Once again, Eskimo just unsettled at the moment. Normally, he's uh, managed to gain some composure and, and, and fight out pretty well, but at the moment, his car's a little bit all over the shop. Rob360, he's uh, actually done very well. Starting from uh, a little bit back in the grid, and he's uh, currently looking at a fourth position at the moment, so it's a very good uh, effort there. Right, so we're on board now with Eli Choco, who's just coming around to complete the fifth lap. And Alcimo is in the pit lane here, up in your top top left-hand corner there. 
Yeah, he's getting close to the exit now. Just, to, just about the end of pit straight, and I think Eli's going to get it past him here. He'll have enough momentum. Yep, he's got that one nailed, and also just trying to keep out of the road there, and a little bit of uh, loose, loose traction there on the ripple strip, uh, but. Elsmo's definitely managed to gain some some time there. He came out fairly close, but not enough to make the pass. So Eli's doing very well. And, oh, bit of a moment there for Elsmo, just about losing it over the top of the hill. And yeah, as I was saying, Eli definitely holding his own here. He's managed to obviously punch in some really good laps on board now with Elsmo as he tries to hunt down the Ashes Racing driver with the half a lap to go and if he's going to do it it'll probably be in the following section after this hard braking turn I just want that car to push just that bit harder a bit faster but not always the uh, case so if Eli can hold on here this will uh, be his first win of the season he's only been in it since probably about midway but uh, uh, very very good effort for um, just moving in and adjusting to the V8 supercars and Alcimo will probably go for a bit of a dive here he does very heavy under brakes catches right up a bit but he won't have enough traction out of that corner it's coming around now so Eli Choco Jones for Ashes Racing Notched up his first win with a little bit of a uh, dangerous manoeuvre there on the crossing the finish line. And we've just got a bit of a replay. And we're just on board here. That's Zulu and Eskimo. So Eskimo just sort of shutting the door there on the way into the uh, first of the hard turns. But oh, a bit of contact there with his teammate in Blogsy. So Blogsy going for a very late dive. But uh, that. That was actually uh, seeing Eskimo finish a fair bit down on the uh, grid. Let's have a look at the placings for race 8 of the V8 Supercar Series. As we mentioned, Eli Chocoman with his first win. Congratulations there, Alcimo. Just not quick enough to get past him. Finishing up in second with Relentless in third after qualifying first. And Rob 360, as mentioned, he made some pretty good progress there and got ahead of Pistol Fit, so that's a very good effort for Technic Performance Racing. And then, as mentioned, Belogzi and Eskimo finishing 7th and 8th, so that's probably one of their worst performances for SYB. And obviously Eskimo was in 6th place with half a lap to go and dropped back to 8th. And Oli 9394 and DeadX round out the 10 drivers that competed. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you at Race 9. And if you want to know more, just check out regionalgamersleague.com, and we also have Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching. See you soon.